So the FM22 winter update did not just bring with it database changes and transfer updates and all of that good stuff. It also brought with it changes to the match engine. Some things have been nerfed, some things have been improved, and therefore we thought why not make a video on one of the best tactics that we've seen in the current match engine after the most recent update. This tactic is amazing with a variety of different clubs and it looks like something that I think you guys would have a lot of fun using. So let's run the intro and get right into it. Hi everyone, Jake here for FM Scout and welcome to another tactics video that we have for you here. Today we're going to be testing the Argus Snap 343 and I think it's a really nice tactic. It's one of the ones that's done the best in our tactics testing so far. So we thought we've got to show it to you guys. I love the way it plays in game too. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Before we get into all the details about it though and how it's done, if you could like the video, if you do find yourself enjoying it, we'd greatly appreciate it. It really does help in video performance. Drop a comment down below which tactic you found worked best so far in the new update and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And finally, if you want to, you can find my channel linked in the description. Any support over there will be greatly appreciated. But with that being said, let's get into looking at this tactic. Now, bear in mind, you can just hit a link in the description. There will be one by the time this video goes out to just download this tactic and use it in your saves. But if you're someone who just wants to A, look at it or B, you want to make it yourself and not actually put the downloaded tactic in, I'll quickly go through all the tactical instructions that we've got. So as you can see, we've got a sweeper keeper in net on attack. Any of the instructions that have a minus next to it means they've been added extra. I won't read them all out, but you get the idea. Add them in to your player instructions. So that one, for example, has tackle harder and you'll see there'll be others with different positions. So we've got a ball playing defender on defend on the left hand side and the right hand side of a back three with a central defender on defend two with no additional instructions. We've got complete wing backs on either side both on the attack duty, but do note there are differences in their individual instructions, which you can see there. We've then got a central midfielder on attack. This is a role that's worked so well in this year's Football Manager, and you can see all the additional instructions that we have got on them. Then we've got Mazala on the attack duty as well. As you can see, it's a very attacking tactic. We've then got two false nines on support behind a striker. For me, advanced forward is one of the most effective roles in the game, particularly in that forward position on FM22. So that's all your individual player instructions. And now let's quickly look at the tactics themselves. So we are, of course, on an attacking mentality, which makes sense with all the attacking duties we've got on. In possession, this is what we're looking to try and do. I won't read it all out. You get the idea. It's very high tempo in terms of how we pass and how we distribute the ball. We're looking to counter press and counter, which seems to be the main meta in FM22 of getting the job done and getting matches won. So that's what's been gone with here by Nap. And then if we go for out of possession, we can see exactly what it looks like there. So yeah, this is the tactic. We are testing it with a bunch of different teams for a variety of quality levels. In Spain, we've got Villarreal and Betis. In France, we've got Lorient and Nice. In Italy, we've got Atalanta and Udinese. And then in England, we have got Wolves and Brighton. Before we do go and have a look at the performance of our tactic, I'd like to let you guys know, I do have my own channel linked in the description. We do Football Manager Rebuilds and we have a Wolfsburg save going on currently. If you're interested in that, a lot of you guys have came over and said you've really enjoyed it. So any support over there, likes, comments, subscribes even, would be greatly appreciated. But back to the video and what you're all here to see. So two of our teams in the French division have got Champions League football. The only team that beat them in the league was PSG, which you're going to expect with the might that PSG have, particularly in this first season compared to these clubs. Nice predicted to come sixth in the league, finished third, and then Lorient had a relegation prediction. They've managed to finish up here in second place, Champions League football, and have played absolutely out their skin. We'll have a look at extra details as we go on, but that's how the French division did. In Spain, Villarreal have finished third, which considering they were predicted to finish outside of Champions League spots, is not a bad result at all. But more surprisingly is Real Betis, expected to get mid-table obscurity. They have finished in sixth place and qualifying for Champions League football. And that is because they actually won the Europa League. Apologies for not having the actual name of Real Betis. It's because from the winter update, you have to re-update the name pack that I use. So unfortunately, I haven't done that yet. I don't usually play on the computer that I'm recording on, so I haven't done it so far. But Real Betis did finish in sixth, 
winning a Europa League final 5-1 against Bayer Leverkusen. A great performance. Now, because some of you guys have asked for it in the tactic videos in the past, I will actually show a game or at least the highlights of a match. And I think I'll probably show this Europa League final against Bayer Leverkusen at the end of the video. If we do go to Italy, we had some great, great success. Atalanta expected to fight for that fourth place spot, have won the league by a pretty significant margin, particularly over the other clubs in third and fourth. And Udinese, very surprisingly, have got Europa League football on 68 points. That's higher than Roma, higher than Inter and higher than Juventus. Udinese have played out their skins for a club that was expected to finish nowhere near the top half of the table. So very happy with their performance. And finally, we have the Premier League. Of course, this is the one where it does usually get hard in these tactic tests. And it's kind of proved that way. Wolves have finished fifth, which is not a bad result at all. Getting close to Man City, Arsenal, Leeds finishing particularly high. We didn't use Leeds. Marcelo Bielsa must have just done an amazing job with them that season. But Brighton um, didn't finish amazingly, but they were expected to be 18th place before the league started. And they've done way better than that. Finishing near the top half of the table, another win, maybe another four points. And you would have seen them climbing above Tottenham and clubs of that nature. So I think not the worst performance, but I think the Premier League is definitely where this tactic was found out a little bit. And I think that's just because it's against higher quality opposition. And maybe the teams we picked for it weren't super well suited for the tactic. So to look at this tactic in more detail, we're going to head over to the French divisions and to Lorient, who surprised us all by finishing in a Champions League spot. Now that could change the fortune of their whole club. And we can see the reasons why they have done so well. If we're looking at the amount of goals that our top players have scored. We can see the highest goal scorer in the league did come from our club in the form of Andy Delors, getting more goals than Mbappe. He played for Nice. And then our Lorient striker, Terran Mofi, hitting 25 goals. That's five more than Messi. And overall, it's been a great performance for our goal scorers. In terms of assist makers, we can see most of them have came from Atal in the Nice team. So he would have been playing in that complete wing back spot on the right hand side. And then Vincent Le Goff, I'm not super clued up on him but it looks like he will be the wing back on the left hand side the complete wing back should I say so it's interesting to see just how effective those players have been we're not making any lists for the fewest conceded so I'm assuming uh, ahead of time that this tactic wasn't amazing defensively and let's see if that was the case first of all we should talk about attacking wise though outside of PSG this tactic has scored the most goals in the league for both of our clubs way outperforming some of the clubs you'd expect to be up there with them and overall yeah it looks like we've done very nicely most dribbles made most shots actually we've created the most shots so you could argue that if we just had a couple more of those quality PSG players in our Nice team we would have stormed the league with the amount of shots we were having chances are we were missing a lot because of the quality of players that we did have um, and then if we go to fewest conceded as predicted we're not really anywhere near that mark it doesn't look like but what do you expect it's an attacking tactic with plenty of roles set to attack some people will say oh but there's two wing backs and three defenders surely it should defend well some people will call it five at the back but that doesn't necessarily represent the way this tactic plays if anything it's more just three central defenders possession wise we had some of the highest in the league Lorient in particular surprising everyone controlling the games with 56 percent of possession on average if we see any other areas that are interesting here's an interesting one nice have finished way higher than any other club unexpected goals and same with Lorient getting very close to actually the amount that PSG got and Nice far exceeding the XG of PSG way higher than anyone else in the league so I would suggest if you are a team like Lorient fighting for relegation it should do a pretty good job for you it got Lorient second place and Brighton this tactic got them in 11th so even if you don't hit the heights you should at least be very very safe and comfortable in the league but what interests me the most is how high we are on these XG statistics which would make me think if you had the quality of not a PSG but you know if you had the quality of say a Lyon or a Marseille in your team as opposed to the players in Lorient squad we could have easily beat PSG with the XG that we were getting if we could just finish them chances we would have flew way higher than them so I think it's just purely down to the quality and the teams that we've picked but that's what you want to see you don't want to see us all doing a tactic test with PSG with Man United with Liverpool because chances are even with a average tactic you might run over the opposition in most games so it's much better to test it out with these clubs that you wouldn't expect to do too well crosses completed is an interesting one we are getting a lot of crosses with this tactic and that would make sense with the wing backs that we do have and um, shots for we already know we were ahead by a long margin shots on target nice have absolutely smashed it shots per game nice on average having 22 shots per game that seems like an unreal number 
to be perfectly honest with you. So there we go, we've had a look at how to set the tactic up, how the tactic's done for a variety of different clubs and a variety of different leagues. I'm very happy with the results we've got. I think everyone exceeded expectations, some more so than others, but I think this will be a good game just to watch the highlights of, watch the goals at least from this final. Our Betis team beat Leverkusen 5 1, so let's check out the goals and see what kind of football it played. So, for our first goal, it looks like it was a corner from Canales to Bartra. We didn't actually have a look at the corner tactic, but it could be a special one. Here's Moreno for our team going down the left hand side, and he was a left wing back in this system, so it's nice to see. They're getting involved. Some nice football around the box and then a tidy finish from Canales. And um, yeah, it looks like we're just playing a lot of crosses in so far. Is this going to be a similar one? This is actually going to be the Leverkusen goal. So it looks like we made a mistake playing it out from the back and Florian works. What a player he is. What a talent he is going to be. Finished a chance off. Let's have a look at our other three goals though. We have another one coming from a corner. So I'm definitely going to have a look at the corner tactic following this uh, highlight. Then we have a fourth goal here, which actually wasn't from a set piece, but it was again getting the ball out to the wing backs on that side to put in a low cross. It's happened and Iglesias has finished from close range. It seems like these wing backs are wreaking havoc on opposition defenses. And then for our final goal, it's a throw out. It's a pickup from one of our players. He's then played it through to Iglesias and he has finished very nicely. Um, a lot of press in there, a lot of intensity to win the ball back from a throw in and get as a goal. I'll quickly will check on the corner tactic. If you download the tactic, you're going to see it and going to get it automatically no matter what. But for someone who is putting the tactic in themselves, this is what the corner tactic looks like. I'm hoping my face isn't covering it. But just to let you know, the player instructions are set to take them to near post, but we do also have a player coming short. So I imagine we're getting a few goals from that. And it looked like that was the case in those highlights. So there you go. That's the corner tactic. Feel free to pause it and put it in if you want to do that. But also if you download the tactic, it will come with it when you go to the set piece section. I did nothing to set it up, but it's nice to see it got us some good results. So overall, some great football, getting some great use out of the wing backs. And overall, this tactic has been a great success. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. I've just noticed as well, Bruno Iglesias has scored 51 goals across all competitions. So fair play to that man. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. Like the video if you did enjoy. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.